hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some it's not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it so young thugs case is getting messier and messier and messier by the day y'all word on the street is and this is what they presented in court y'all <laughs> y'all this is a mess okay young thugs lawyer shows text messages between a female witness and a state investigator in the YSL trial. Good morning, mama. Hit me up if you're bored later. Y'all mean to tell me the witnesses and the, you know, investigators and this and that and that and this is hooking up later on after court? This can't get any messier. Y'all, ever since this case started, it's been one thing after another, after another, after another after another ever since this case got started and it seems like somebody is trying to throw this case so that they can this guy can get off of all the mess that he's charged for y'all do y'all know how many bodies they're saying is tied to this man do you know how much abuse alleged that he put on all the people around him okay y'all there are people on the streets that was petrified of this man that lived in the area where they were they were petrified of this man his own street association was scared of him and i don't know how y'all a man running around with pink dresses on and nails polish and lipstick and eyeliner and they were afraid of this man y'all scared for their lives and every time you turn around, it's one thing after another, after another, after another. These are the text messages that they are talking about. A state investigator's text to a female witnesses were on display this morning in the Young Thug trial. Y'all, this don't make no sense. This is what they're saying. Good morning, mama. Hope you slept well. Again, don't come at 1.30. I feel, I have a feeling the defense will keep this same witness from yesterday all day again today. I'll give you an update at 3 o'clock. I'll give you an update at 3 p.m. This is what they saying, y'all. You will most likely go up tomorrow morning. I'll talk to you soon call me please call me one more time then i'll out wait a minute y'all call me one more time then i'm out your hair for the night hit me up though if you're bored later okay we're not gonna talk shop y'all what the heck is going on What the heck is going on? This don't make no sense right here. People should be losing their jobs for this type of stuff that's going on with this case. Now, man, you people that went to jail and all kind of stuff. And I'm talking about the lawyers. They done went back and forth to jail and all kind of stuff in this case. I just want to read some of these comments because I'm, I'm just curious to what people was talking about right now, y'all. This is ridiculous. Um... Case too sloppy, throw it out. And it got laughing emojis. This is what they want to do. They want this case throughout. But I'm going to tell y'all this. Looking at this picture of Young Thug right here, this is the best I've seen him look ever since he came out, to be honest with y'all. He looked like, you know, he's cleaning up as far as the street pharmacy stuff, okay? And I'm just happy to see him out of makeup and dresses, to be honest. Okay, y'all? This is the best he has ever looked in a long time. He gained some weight and everything. 
maybe jail is good for him, especially if everything that their people are saying that he did, he did. And I don't think all these people are lying on this man, my personal opinion. I do believe everything that people were saying about all these bodies and this and that. And what makes me so upset about this whole case, this is why I don't even really keep up with this case, is because why did authorities wait so long before they brought this guy in in the first place, y'all? Why? Please tell me. Why did you wait till 50 bodies line up, add up, y'all, for you to come at this crew of people? And to stop them from doing what they're doing. It's the same thing that's going on with Puffy. The same thing that's going on with Jay-Z. Why do it have to be so many bodies to line up before you start investigating somebody? Why, y'all? I don't understand it. When you have all of these, I don't even care if they are rumors. Check it out and see what's really going on. When you got bodies dropping... And when they drop, you, you know, you gain off of it. That should be an investigation off the top, y'all. When Prince passed away, it should have been an investigation off the top. A severe investigation. Michael Jackson, the same thing. Everybody that was tied to him, that was at that house or whatever, everybody should have been under investigation. Now the doctor didn't get out of jail from doing a, what, a year, maybe a year or some months or whatever. And more information is coming out now about Michael Jackson's case. Why are they so quick to let these people off the hook when they're doing wrong? I don't get it, y'all. It doesn't make any sense. This is why the world is in a bad place where it is right now. Because of all these demons that's running loose. And then they got people in high places that's have, helping them cover up stuff. And then you got all these sloppy, messy people that's connected to this case. And now look at what's going on right now. They hooking up after court, y'all. This don't make no sense. This makes no sense whatsoever. Um, Somebody said, at this point, throw the whole case away. Um... This is what they are trying to do. This man is facing a very, very, very long time in prison, y'all. And I think the more just the more stuff that don't make sense, the more that it gets him closer to beating this case, y'all. And this is ridiculous. They went in this man walls. They went in this man backyard and dug up evidence. Okay, y'all. They got witnesses, even his own friends turned on him and told everything they know. Said that they was a street association. He was in charge of doing all of this and this and that. They were scared of him because he said, if you don't do it, we're going to do it to you. So he forced people to do other crimes. Allegedly, this is what was put out here. Not to mention all the bodies, y'all. Okay. And I want y'all to pay attention to the fact that there were attempts on other celebrities' lives. Word on the street is this guy, a guy with Lil Wayne's manager, and tried to come at Lil Wayne. Now, word on the street is they are putting out that Lil Wayne has forgiven them, y'all. Okay? We all know Lil Wayne done smoked his kneecaps off. Okay? He ain't got enough sense to throw. Just because somebody is one of your favorite rappers don't mean that, you know, they got sense. Okay, y'all. If you are out here calling yourself trying to do music and, and, and bond back with people that tried to come at you, uh, how stupid can you be? Seriously, y'all. And the only thing I can say about Lil Wayne calling himself forgiving the people that tried to line him up and take his life is... Um, he got some screws missing. It's one thing to forgive, but then they saying he doing music with people again and all of this stuff. It doesn't make sense. You you want to put money in the pocket of the people that try to come at you. It makes no sense, y'all. And y'all wonder why people sit back and they talk about the stuff that's going on. And people be all in their feelings. Y'all, I, I just finished blocking. I had to throw a block party over here, y'all. I, I think I blocked about 20 people just now. 
all in the comment section over some white woman, okay, y'all? I do not understand what is wrong with our people, okay? I can see th th her own race coming over here talking about, oh, she going to sue you. Sue me for what? Doing some numbers? Just because the numbers line up the way they line up? Well, what about the people that, there's so many people that have reached out to me that said she's a fraud. So what you going to sue those people to that say you're a fraud? That your stuff don't add up. And the stuff that you bring up is the stuff that is already out there. Or you running through YouTube copying off of other people that has a gift. And you're using it for your own. I'm just saying, y'all. This is what is going on with this woman. And people are all in the comment section talking about you're going to get sued. You're going to get this. For what? Doing some numbers on somebody. Y'all mad because the numbers is adding up. Okay? To somebody being a fraud, y'all mad. Now, as far as me doing the middle finger, the reason why I put the middle finger up is because she cussed me out. <laughs> okay, y'all? So, y'all think that um she can cuss me out and I can't put a middle finger up and tell her to go kick rocks? If you all in your feelings in my comment section and you do not like what I am dishing out, don't let the doorknob hit you on your way out. I done said that a hundred times. And for you to be all in the comment section leaving the comments, you, you, this woman is so sweet. This woman is this, this woman, this woman is lying, y'all. Talk about she talks to the dead. Oh, man, uh, people that has passed. My bad, y'all. She says she talks to people who has passed. But only people that come to her is um, uh, black people. Okay, y'all? So you mean to tell me she can talk about our people, but we are not allowed to talk about her? Are y'all stuck on stupidity or what? Because if you're in your feelings, you better get out of it real fast or just don't click on this page because you're going to stay in your feelings if you're coming over here. I'm going to just tell y'all that right now. There are people out here right now that has had readings from her and all of this stuff. And they say she's a fraud. I have a boatload of people that's saying she's a fraud. That's what made me want to do a numbers in the first place. Okay, not to mention every time I jump on YouTube, it's recommended that you watch her video. I am sick of people recommending me watch her videos. Stay out of my inboxes and I won't have to talk about you. That's how I feel. You cannot force people to accept you or like you. People have their own mind and they are, I'm just saying y'all, they can have their own own opinions and if you don't like it all you got to do is click off i don't go on people's pages that i don't, don't like unless i'm doing some research okay y'all other than that it makes no sense for me to sit there watch somebody video and then sit in the comment section and just type away da -da 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 if you don't like it all you got to do is cl click off that's all you got to do that's it that's all y'all Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section about this whole situation with Young Thug and all of this mess. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.